Lecture 4, Component Setup, Responsive Layout In the previous lecture we've done the setup of custom app bar, invoice screen and payment screen. In this lecture we will set up the responsive layout, as both of the card widget which is invoice card and payment card, shares the same layout properties in terms of UI, therefore we will create a common responsive layout widget for it. Here we will also learn the concept of constrained box widget. Creating a new file inside of the components folder as responsive.dart and, let's start writing the responsive layout logic. So we will first create a stateless responsive widget class. Next we will create a child variable of type widget that we will pass from the invoice and payment screen in the upcoming lecture. Apply a little bit of padding. It's child center with single child scroll view and then constrained box. So constrained box widget is used to add size constraints to its child widget. Constraints property takes in the box constraints class as the object. It puts constraints to its child widget using the functions of the box constraints class. So whenever you use constraint box, you need to create a box constraints. Box constraints allows you to define the minimum and maximum width and height of its child widget. We'd also wrapped constraint box in single child scroll view because it will allow us to scroll through the card. This effect will be visible when the user gonna use our SendSats website on small devices such as mobile phones. That's it for the responsive class. Now let's head over to our barrel file components.dart and export the responsive.dart file here. In the next lecture we'll set up the initial container layout for our invoice card and payment card. Thank you.